My name is Emily Darling. I'm a conservation scientist at the Wildlife Conservation Society. This week we're publishing an exciting new study in the scientific journal Nature, Ecology and Evolution about coral reef conservation. This study has never been done before. It's taken over six years, the efforts of more than 100 coral reef scientists, and we've brought together the largest data set on coral communities from the Indian and Pacific Oceans, from more than 2,500 reefs. We found something new, that functioning coral communities currently exist in 22 countries in this region, and they exist in climate cool spots, areas of the ocean that have escaped the worst and most recent impacts of coral bleaching and climate change. Our study finds an urgent need to take action on key drivers of coral abundance. That is reducing the local impacts of unsustainable fishing, of too much pollution coming off coastlines, and of unsustainable development. If we can do that, we can increase the amount of corals within these functioning cool spots. Our study is different because we focus on the reef building corals themselves, the species that form the backbone of an entire coral reef ecosystem. Our study also makes simple thresholds for policymakers, whereby looking at the underwater condition of your coral reef, usually through monitoring by local scientists, as well as how much climate impact that reef has experienced, then we can determine which management strategy is most appropriate for that reef. Should we be protecting functioning coral reefs? Should we be recovering impacted reefs? Or working with communities to transform away from their dependence on degraded coral reefs? Ultimately, local management, no matter how strategic, will not work unless we urgently tackle climate change. We need to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that are going into our atmosphere. We need to cool down our planet and cool down our oceans immediately. We're learning as we're losing coral reefs, but this study shows that there is still time to enact strategic management for coral reefs and the millions of people who depend on them.